Okay, we've done some basic numerically indexed arrays and we've done some associative arrays. Um, you might be thinking right now, what's the point of doing arrays? Why are they so great and wonderful? And one of the reasons that they're great and wonderful is you can combine them with loops and you can loop through arrays and you can read um, information and you can output information and they're quite good for that. Now I've kept this quite nice and simple. I've gone back to the num numerical arrays because they're a bit simpler than having um, associative arrays. But it's the same sort of principle that applies to associative arrays. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start using the loops we learned about in previous tutorials. I'm going to start using loops and I'm going to loop through this information here and start to output it. Now I'm going to have to think a little bit now because it gets a little bit fiddly. Um, but we'll take it a bit by bit and we'll start by outputting one line at a time. So we'll, we'll just start off with Star Wars and the best thing for this is going to be a for loop. So I've got to think now, what do we actually want to output? We want to output, um, want to output, want to output film, right, films. This is what we're going to be outputting eventually. And we're going to just keep with Star Wars. So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. So we want to keep the zero the same. And then we just, we want to vary the other thing. So we're going to, we're on one row and we're going to be increasing the column. So we'll stick a variable in there. This is me thinking out loud. And we'll call it coal. And yeah, that sort of works. And we'll be, we're going to be looping through each one. So we loop through Star Wars first, then 77, then so, so 00, then 01, then 02. So what I want to be doing is sticking at the end. Just, no, we'll put a space there just to space things out. That's just for a thing. Now we're going to build a loop around this. So, and we're going to use that with that coal, the implement, in, incrementer that we use. We're gonna, this is a bit wibbly wobbly, but I'm thinking out loud. So for um, coal equals zero and coal less than three and then coal plus plus do that there. This should work. So we're just dealing with this one row at the moment. We don't want to increment, we don't want to output anything else. We'll do that in a, a little bit. And just refresh that. Star Wars 77 George Lucas. So there we go. We've dealt with one row. Now, we want to make this two dimensional. So not just that one row. We want to deal with other rows as well. So, so far, we've just been increasing that column. Now we want to increase the rows. So we've done just counting again 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. Now we want to do 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. So we want to increase that 0 to a 1. So we're going to put in another reference now. And we'll call that row, so we're increasing the rows. And the way to do this using loops is we've got one loop already, and I want to stick that inside another loop. So starting this, I hope everyone's getting this, by the way, because I'm sort of thinking through it myself. Row is less than three. Row plus plus. So we're just increasing that row by one. Um, now we're going to have to close it off here. So just to recap, now we'll make it a little neater by one dot. Dun 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 dun. And this is just neatening things up and making things go out. So just to recap, this is our, this is the loop. We've got a loop in the middle that deals with the columns incrementing. Then we've got the, the, the loop outside which deals with the rows incrementing. So we're going column, increase column, increase column reading through George Lucas's bit. Then we go increase row by one, increase da, 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 da. So to start off with, everything's at zero. They're increasing things bit by bit, bit by bit. Now this should work. So we're just going to save this. Did that? No, we're not. Ah, now the reason that didn't work is we still have that zero there. So we've still got that as a constant. Now I want to vary this. And we vary that by calling it a row. So save that. Everything works. So George Star Wars 77, George Lucas, Aliens, da, 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 da. Now, just to make it a little bit more readable, we can put in an HTML tag here. We can echo out that. Put the break in there. See, this is the good thing about echo. Echo will always echo out exactly whatever HTML you put into it. So it's quite good for putting in things, you know, little spaces like that or little breaks like that. Save this. Save that there. Out it all comes. So there we go, we've looped through things. Um, it looks a little bit clunky. And I think one way to tidy it up a bit is to use table. As I said, echo 
you can echo out any sort of HTML tags. And because it's in a sort of table type thing, we can start echoing out some table stuff here. So we'll echo out a table there. And we'll echo out another end table there. Uh, now thinking we want to replace uh, we want to replace that break there with table row so we can echo out this is going to be table data that we're echoing out here so we'll echo out just put table data tag in there Leave that in there now we don't need that space because that space was doing sort of table data type stuff before so we'll just do end table data um, End table data there. That seems to make sense. Now rather than break, we'll do um, end table row there. Am I doing this right? Yes, I think I am. Um, so table data data. We could put an echo at the top there. Yeah, I think we're going to have to put an echo outside there. So echo table row there. That should work. So we've got open table close table, open table row, close table row, table data, table data. These are all H if If this doesn't make any sense to you, you need to go back and, and have a look at what the HTML is for tables, which I did in a previous HTML tutorial. But this is where PHP and HTML are coming together um, and the way that they're sort of producing a fairly professional looking um, table. Just dink donk, there we go. Now we're going to do a, a right click here and view page source. This is all valid HTML, this is all fine, but it's sort of going blurp right the way out on a single row, which doesn't make it look very good. Now, the sort of, I call it a magical sort of thing, but it's not magical, it's just a, a bit of notation, which is slash n, and you can stick it within here, and that brings it onto a new line. So n stands for new line. It doesn't actually produce any HTML itself, but what it's telling the browser is to do is just go to a new line, and it should make it look a bit clearer. So it's not going to do anything here. But if we right click and go to view page source, there we go, that looks a bit better because everything's now on a new table row and it looks a little bit neater and more set out. Um, and just to finish our table off and make it look a little bit more readable, we can echo out some table stuff here. No, we don't need to put that there, but we're going to go table header and we're going to do film title, close off title header. Not table header. Is it table? Yeah, it's table header. Yep, table header, then yeah, then table header, then table header again, then director, and table header, and table row. And we just want to put another table row at the beginning there. So table row. So coming back to the HTML idea of closing off all tags, we've got table row there, table row there. We've got our table rows all sorted out. Table header, close table header, da 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 da, da. Everything should be okay, so we'll save this. Fingers crossed. Echo? Why has echo come out there? Ah, echo's come out there because I didn't need it. I can just take echo out. Save that there. Redo that. I'm just going to view the page source, make sure that's okay. I think that's okay. It's a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but we can sort of read it and sort of understand it. Um, so there we go. That's that's one of the good things about, as I said before, a, a table's just a, a way of presenting information from your array, from your two-dimensional array. So what we've done is we've taken the, the theoretical ideas that we had in our original Excel spreadsheet like that, and we've created a PHP array, and then we've created another sort of looping program that loops through um, and produces produces other stuff. Now it gets a bit more complicated with um, with associative arrays, and we'll be coming to associative arrays next. But for the time being, th th that's how to. This is just how to create a table, an HTML table based upon an array by looping through it using loops. Um, and I hope that's hope that's useful.